Hello, more PEF Year 12. My name is Killian. I'm talking to you from NCS, the National Citizen Service. And today I'm going to be telling you all about a really exciting opportunity for you this October half term on the NCS Autumn Programme. Now, I'd just like to thank your head of year, Ms. Skyers, for letting me talk to you today. It's a shame that I can't be there in person hosting an assembly, but this is the next best thing. Now, a lot of you are very creative. Some of you will be going to the top universities in the country, and I'm really intrigued to see what you as young people can bring to the NCS programme and what you can uh, deliver potentially as leaders as well. Now, before we begin and I get into the details of the programme, I just want you to consider this for a second. Have you ever been told or maybe told yourself, no, I can't, no, you can't? Maybe you felt you didn't know enough. Maybe you were scared in a way. Well, NCS this autumn is all about turning those moments when you've been told, no, you can't, into no, we can. Empowering yourself for the future, getting lots of skills, experience, getting out your comfort zone and trying something new. As I said before, being a leader. So I've got a little video just to explain what I'm talking about. If you are under 18, you cannot watch the following. Hey. No, actually, we can't. Oh no, you just can't grow up. No, we can. The other news teams can't change anything. <laughs> no, we can't. Oh, let it. Oh, you can't get this job yet. No. I think you found the cap. Boy, you can't stand there. No, we can't. We're just waiting for our mate Trev. Parking? <laughs> You can't even get out of bed. No, we can. Skirts? They just can't. No, we can. You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. No. You can't write a book. No, we can. You can't wear that. No, we totally can. And I'm going to show you how no. we can. No, we can. Search NCS for the summer that turns no, you can't into no, we can. So 2020 has not maybe not been the year that we all expected. Maybe some plans you had didn't go ahead. Well, we want to make sure you end this year on a high with some great memories and a great experience. And of course, broadening your already uh, pretty big horizons. So what is involved in the NCS Autumn Programme? So it runs during the October half term. We kick the week off with some exciting outdoor adventure activities. So you could be doing something like uh, rock climbing or go ape, something fun just to release a bit of stress, get to know your teammates. Um, and again, like I said, just have a little bit of fun. Then over the next couple of days, that's where we really work on your key skills. So Miss Guys tells me a lot of you will be going to some of the top universities in the country. You'll be studying things like law, chemistry, and some of you might be going down a more creative route. Whatever it is that you want to do, these skilled workshops are really going to arm you for when you have to interview, for when you fill out your UCAS forms, write your personal statements and go for job interviews as well. So we run programmes like money management, public speaking, as I'm doing now. Uh, we also run a great workshop where we, um, you have to pitch a business idea, the Enterprise Challenge. So you put your heads to together, come up with a nice idea and pitch it to our dragons, which is always very exciting. And who knows, you might meet a future business partner along the way. So then over those couple of days, we're running those skill workshops. As I mentioned, you guys can really lead on this using your broad experience that you already have and your knowledge. You can maybe lead some projects and help other young people along their way. Then we end the week with a social action project, and this is where you get to make a real true difference. NCS isn't just about yourself, it's about how you can affect the wider community. So in your teams, together you will spearhead a social action project. Maybe it's a cause that you care about, something you've always been interested in, and you'll go out together in your teams, in your local borough, and raise awareness for that cause. So some examples of young people this summer, uh, one group petitioned for Don't Zap the Zip because the government wanted to start charging young people for their travel. And they petitioned against that, went out, flyed on the streets and got lots of interest and started a signature page where people petitioned against it. 
Another more creative group started their own podcast called Youth Rising, where they talked about issues that affect them as young people and how that could impact them in the future. Creating a community. Another group campaigned for Lives Not Knives. As I'm sure you know, knife crime is a major issue in the capital and a lot of young people wanted to raise awareness for that. Now, like I said, whatever it is you're interested in and how you want to deliver that is really up to you. So I know a lot of you guys are creative, whether it's arts, um, textiles, music, um, digital animation, that sort of thing. You really can use your skills to spearhead a project and have a lot of fun as well. Now, one young man you may have seen during the summer was Marcus Rashford, the Manchester United and England footballer. And he showed that as a young person, you really have the capacity and ability to make a real change. Of course, he tweeted to the government um, to ask them to make sure that all young people at school have free school meals. It was so effective and impactful that the government made a U-turn and made sure that was the case for all young people going forward. So Mr. Rashford goes to show that even as a young person, you really have an, Im uh, an ability to make a real impact. So don't let anything hold you back this autumn. So how much does it cost you to go on the programme? Well, exclusively year 12 for this autumn, it's free. And that is a wonderful opportunity. I really encourage you to grab this with both hands. It's not often that free comes along in life um, much that you get this opportunity to learn some new skills, have a bit of fun and use your time wisely as well. So when can I go? As I said, NCS Autumn begins in the October half term. So it starts on Monday the 26th of October and runs through the Social Action Project to Sunday the 1st of November. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, there are limited spaces available. So make sure you are signed up as soon as possible. NCS is a really popular programme and we often have loads of people, loads of young people from all around London go on the programme, including from Morpeth as well. Last year we had many interested and in sign up to the Keep Doing Good Summer programme. So make sure you act quick and how do you do that? You go onto our website, wearenCS.com, and you can sign up in the top right hand corner, big green sign up button, click on that. Put in your details, it should take about 10 minutes. You can do it while you're having dinner, watching TV. If you've got a spare moment at lunch, I encourage you to do it as soon as possible. And it, like I said, very short time and you'll be signed and ready to go for this autumn, which is really exciting. You can also see a QR code on the screen. If you get out your phone now, you can scan that and that will equally take you to the sign up page and it's the same principle. Put in all your details and you're ready to go and got your place locked for this autumn half term. Now, on a personal note, I really encourage you to go on NCS. As I mentioned at the start of the presentation, you are high flyers. You'll be going to some of the top universities. You're very creative, very skilled, and you have the opportunity to really lead some projects and become mentors for other young people. It's very exciting, and it's a really good opportunity to just have a bit of fun as well, and really prepare you for when you go for job interviews to university so you have a lot of recent and tangible examples to speak about. Even if you don't use them, then when you meet new people, you have something to talk about that's recent, something fun, something to share with your family as well. The volunteering aspect as well is very vital. Maybe that's something that you might not usually get during your studies and it just broadens your horizon a little bit. It shapes you how you feel in the wider world. So like I said, sign up as soon as possible to wearencs.com. Get your place locked. It's going to be really exciting. I'd just like to thank your teacher, Miss Skies, for letting me talk to you again. And I look forward to seeing you in autumn. So I'm just going to end this video with a little video from young people about how they spent their life after lockdown. Thank you for listening. When the time comes again to step out freely into the world All my friends who held me down, you'll be the first I holler at to link up with We'll be face to face again to say things we couldn't say behind a screen 
I've made a list of all the places we said we'll visit. Let's see how far our legs take us to that lake. Those woods. All that precious greenery we said will help protect in our fight for a better climate. What can phase us? When we're told, no, you can't, we say, no, we can. Even when we're back at school, we'll have a better time since we spent so many days indoors. Becoming our own teachers. Picking up new skills. Learning more about who we are as individuals. As siblings. As a family. From now on, every person in my neighbourhood is my cousin. Only families stick together through tough times, like my community did. Shout out to those who lived a life locked down. Shout out to the frontliners. Shout out to those who stood for equality. Shout out to those fueled with hope and joy. And, and now, now together, together we're, we're ready, ready to rebuild, rebuild the world. world. As we approach the end of lockdown, I think we can all agree that it's been very difficult, but we can also agree that we have all learned very important things over this period of time. I hope that we all remember, despite being far apart, we all came together to form one big community. The fact that this has taken away some things that we can't get back, I like to think that would make us appreciate everything a bit more. Uh, after the lockdown, I'm gonna to look to get to my best friend's house and take in a really nice view of the city and I really hope the world is a more united place after it. We're all human and in this together, so I hope the world will never be the same but better.